Hey everyone, as we eagerly await updates on the next Avengers film, let's take a trip down memory lane and explore the incredible journey behind the making of Avengers Infinity War. The movie you're watching in theaters, on TV, or even on those sketchy sites with ads is a true piece of art. Hundreds of people have poured their hard work into it. The credits at the end of the movie aren't just a formality, they're a way to acknowledge the contributions of individuals who often do more for the project than the actors themselves. Want to dive into the Marvel Cinematic Universe's filmmaking process from start to finish? Right here, we'll explore Infinity War as a prime example. You'll discover why Avengers 4 took over two years to film, what the roles of those mysterious executive producers entail, and how Marvel brings its magic to the big screen. Creating any film project involves three crucial stages, pre-production, production, and post-production. These terms might make it seem simple. First, they plan, then they shoot, and finally, they polish it and release it. In reality, it's much more complex. Initially, an idea is needed. External studios often hire directors, purchase scripts, and bring in freelance talent. All creative decisions for Marvel films are discussed by a core team led by Kevin Feige. They choose the characters, set the overall direction, and then assign specific tasks accordingly. Producers are crucial. They stand above directors, actors, and everyone else in the hierarchy. A director's job is to make the film and manage the creative process, while a producer's job is to find the right director and ensure the project is commercially successful. Wikipedia will list Kevin Feige as the producer for nearly all Marvel films. That's partially true because Kevin is a producer overseeing other producers. For instance, Infinity War credits 14 producers, including Stan Lee. However, Stan Lee's role is more honorary since he created the characters and gets a profit share from film adaptations. Such arrangements often lead to amusing situations, like John Peters earning $50 million just because he bought the rights to Superman adaptations in the 90s despite being a terrible producer. He was even banned from the set of Man of Steel by Christopher Nolan, but still received his share. Let's look at Infinity War again. Kevin Feige settled on the title in 2014, gathered other producers, and began searching for the right creators. By April 2015, the Russo brothers were appointed directors. A month later, screenwriters were chosen, and the plot outline was laid out with critical moments, actor contracts, and other details. The script, which includes the plot, dialogues, characters, and every minor scene, is rewritten dozens of times. This happens not because the initial versions are bad, but because producers negotiate with actors essential to the script. For example, Chris Evans's contract was ending with Infinity War, so initially his character was to be written out. However, when Chris decided to stay for Avengers 4, the script had to be revised. When the script is relatively ready, the most challenging and longest phase begins. Although the script for Infinity War was polished in 2016, filming didn't start until a year later. This delay is due to the meticulous preparation involved. A special creative team scrutinizes the script to ensure it aligns with previous films, includes Easter eggs, and ties up loose ends. Directors, producers, and cinematographers then visualize every scene, creating sketches and a minimalistic version of the film. Marvel usually doesn't share storyboards, but some sketches for Infinity War have been released. Parallel to this, location scouting is conducted worldwide to find the perfect filming spots. The Russo brothers, for instance, shared photos from the Doctor Strange Sanctuary location in 2016. Marvel's scouting department is extensive, and locations are meticulously chosen for their suitability for filming. Simultaneously, casting occurs based on the script and director's requirements. Although Infinity War didn't need many new faces, actors like Peter Dinklage were signed in 2017 well into the pre-production phase. Only after all these preparations do the actors arrive on set. Initially, they don't start shooting immediately but go through costume tests, which sometimes result in teaser videos. Actors then engage in script readings, a step often mistakenly considered part of production. Here, they sit around a table and perform their dialogues and monologues, allowing for further script tweaks based on how lines sound and actors' inputs. Finally, with a director's version of the script, shooting locations determined and details finalized, filming begins. Set designers prepare the sets, producers schedule the shoot down to the minute, and directors guide the cinematographers on how to shoot each scene. Unlike most films, Marvel projects are so well coordinated that the order of shooting scenes doesn't matter. For instance, Spider-Man's death scene was shot on the second day of filming, which lasted nearly two years, as revealed by Kevin Feige in interview. Often, even actors don't know the exact scenes they're filming, as everything is shot out of sequence and heavily relies on green screens and CGI. When filming wraps, 
Actors celebrate while directors prepare for post-production where the magic truly happens. Initially, a rough cut is created, combining the best takes. Then, visual effects artists step in, transforming blue screens into New York City landscapes and adding CGI elements. For modern Marvel films, this is crucial as 97% of scenes involve CGI. Practical sets often serve as references for CGI artists, like Thor's landing or Black Panther's scenes. Sound design is another critical aspect. On set, capturing clear audio is challenging due to external noise, so actors often re-record their lines in a studio. Hugh Jackman famously shared a video of him re-recording his lines for Logan. Simultaneously, sound designers create environmental effects and refine audio to ensure everything sounds perfect. Reshoots are common in modern filmmaking, allowing directors to perfect scenes. For Infinity War, securing all top-tier actors simultaneously was impossible, so some scenes were shot separately, like Benedict Cumberbatch's additional shots. Karen Gillan called Avengers 4 the endless movie because reshoots continued just weeks before its release. Once the visual effects, editing, and reshoots are nearly complete, the film is ready for its soundtrack. Composer Alan Silvestri started working on Avengers 4 in November 2018, and he finished it a week before the premiere. The composer needs to know the exact length of scenes for the music to fit organically. Despite last-minute changes, the overall composition remains intact. After meticulous sound mixing, where dialogue, effects, and music are balanced, the film is ready for release. Test screenings are held, and feedback can lead to further tweaks, moving scenes around or adding new ones. Only after all these stages is the film we see in theaters complete. This process involves thousands of people highlighting the complexity and artistry of filmmaking. Every film is a work of art, so appreciate the era we live in and remember to show some love to the creators. Leave a like if you enjoy such informative videos. Thanks for watching and see you until the next time.